Hello and welcome to another edition of Don't Waste Your Time. This video may not be for you. My name is Purcell and uh, what you're looking at is my uh, subwoofer uh, that I had installed a few years ago. When I bought this car, I did not have a subwoofer. I had um, an open chasm like over here where you can store stuff. And then over here I had an open chasm. But as you know, since I'm in the high-end audio, I had to correct that. So I went out to the place who did my tent and also who installed my Blackview Cameras, a company called Safe and Sound. And I had them to install my subwoofer. And the only plan I wanted was to have the Tesla T in some form or fashion had to be lit. And the installer of the year in 2016, Mr. Matt Schaefer did an outstanding job. He did a reverse grill implant. Uh, he hooked up the lighted T and then he also autographed it down here. And he signed this one of one because basically whenever he does a subwoofer install or any type of install in a car, be it Tesla or any car, he likes to make it his own. And this is the only type of um, install that you will see. Now, let me kind of describe what he was looking for. You see how the red and the white lines are kind of jagged and going down. He wanted to tie that in with back here where the rear panel is on the driver's side. You see how the door handle and the little pocket there, how it goes down. So he tried to tie all that in along with the silver trim to kind of match it right here in that form of fashion. I think he did a good job uh, when it came out. The subwoofer, by the way, is um, a C10, it's a 10 inch speaker, C10 carbon subwoofer made by the company called Illusion. Again, I really like this subwoofer, very, very powerful subwoofer indeed. And what you don't see is my sub amp. It's a JL Audio uh, amp that powers this subwoofer. It's an HD 600 4 and it's hidden down here where I have this light. All I have to do is just Take my fingers here, pull it out, and then you can kind of see the subwoofer right there. Really great attention to detail and how everything is easily accessible once you get it in the car. If you have any problems with the subwoofer, all you have to do is just pull this out. Once you complete, you pull that back in. So that is the subwoofer in my car. And another thing that makes my car sound pretty solid if you will is another aftermarket item that you can't see if you do decide to get an upgrade with your audio if you don't want to spend the money for a digital sound processor that's totally fine but if you do want to get new speakers in your car and possibly an amp i suggest to get your doors wrapped especially if you want to get a subwoofer the subwoofer back there behind my car just i showed you that earlier my audio frog speakers are in the doors as well. The wrap is how you keep that sound solid. What I mean is uh, during the summertime, during the wintertime or anytime you're outside and you hear somebody playing some good songs, some good tunes, and as they pass by the bass sounds like it's rattling the trunk. It makes this you know, rattling noise. It kind of sounds cheap to me, I guess. That means that they didn't get the doors, they didn't get any side of the subwoofer enclosure wrapped. So what I had Safe and Sound do was actually pop off my door handles right here. They popped them all off on all four doors and they also wrapped the subwoofer enclosure as well. And they wrapped it with a mat called Mesa Mat, M-E-S-A. You have all different type of sound deadening, sound dampening wraps but they went with MESA, M-E-S-A, which stands for Mobile Electronics Specialist of America. That was uh, wrapped inside my door to give it a nice, tight, solid fit. So when I'm driving by in my quiet car, you won't hear a lot of rattling coming from the back part of the car, nor will you hear any rattling in the doors at all. You will hear that solid sound, that bass, mid-range, and treble. So that's just some tips for you. Again, good luck if you decide to get some audio uh, upgrades in your car. It is a journey and it is, uh, I must say, a lot of money, but I spent the money because I'm in the high-end audio and I just love audio, as I said before. Again, if you don't want to go with the high-end audio, just do yourself a big service by just getting some music 
on a stick, on a USB file, put that in there and you will be surprised how well it sounds. Talk to you later and see you on the next episode of Don't Waste Your Time. This video may not be for you. Peace.